Hey there, um, Nate with Darkstone Manor. I uh, just wanted to show a little bit about my Boney Tony that arrived today, and I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, take you through a few of the, um, uh, the features. And so there's the LED lights and the moving jaw. Um, the frame of the skeleton is one of the, the cheaper skeletons that you can buy at um, you know one of the online um, uh, Halloween supplies. It's it's nowhere near like the Costco skeleton, but it's it's fine. Uh, it comes with a microphone, a very low quality microphone, but good enough. And the neck. Not so happy with it. I think they did it this way because they want the, the head to move, but I'm probably going to corpse it a little bit and make it look less uh, silly. Uh, it takes four double A's, and you can either choose the mic or the, um, the pre-recorded. Uh, and I'm going to just show you the mic right now. So switch it to mic. Got the mic connected in there. And I'll show you how it looks. Hi, how's it going? Boo, boo, boo. That's pretty good, pretty good response. Um, not the best jaw movement, but still, it'll be good. Uh, good enough for trick-or-treaters. So, uh, doing quick scares, I think it'll be good. Boo, ha, something like that. Um, one thing that is actually kind of nice is that it comes with a pre-drilled uh, pole that goes all the way up the spine. Um, sorry, we're looking up your spine here, Boney Tony. Um, and it's actually a nice rigid metal pole. Um, so I'm thinking to actually mount it on a, uh, a tombstone and have a reindeer motor to uh, make him move left to right. I'll probably put a, a lantern in his hand or something, but it's nice to have the, the pole already in his spine, so. Oh, also, uh, another thing is the connector, which is in the back of the head. It goes down to the torso here, and it, um, it powers some lights that go up and down the spine. You can see they're just little LEDs which are attached to the spine. Um, so, when you talk with the microphone, not only the eyes light up, but the spine as well and i don't really like that feature so i'm probably just going to unplug it but i don't know maybe i'll think of something overall really happy with it for the price uh, i got it at home depot um, i would highly recommend it so thanks